Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Logan, and today we're going to be taking a look at these Valencia Oslo Console Edition Home Theater Chairs. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stick around, and we'll get into it right after the intro. Alright, so about 8 months ago, we took a look at a couple of home theater seats from Valencia's Oslo line, and they proved to be some very comfortable and well-built chairs. With that said though, after having owned them for a few months, we decided that we wanted to replace all of our seats with these Oslo chairs. That's why today, we'll be checking out some more home theater seating that was kindly sent over to us by Valencia. Again, we already reviewed a pair of Oslo seats in a previous video, so make sure you go ahead and check that out, but today we're just going to be adding to those with a new set of console edition seats. With that out of the way, before I start talking about the differences between the regular seats and the console edition, let's quickly go through the setup and assembly. The Oslo console edition comes in three different parts, each shipped in its own box. Once we had each part set up here in our theater, it was time to start assembling the row of seats, which is pretty simple thanks to the system that Valencia uses to ratchet all of the seats together. To get the row assembled, start by laying out the bottom parts of each seat, line up the ratcheting mechanisms, and push the chairs together. In my opinion, this is actually a very strong and secure setup, but it's still pretty easy to take them apart if you have to, just by lifting up one chair. Next, just attach the backs of each seat to the bases, and this is also pretty hard to mess up. Just slide the rails on each side into the posts on the bases. They'll click into place when they're lined up, and that's pretty much it. From here, it's just a matter of going behind the chairs and connecting the wires in the back. The center console portion actually includes a little power strip for plugging the other seats into, which is really nice and it eliminates the need to use up multiple outlets. And with the assembly of the chairs out of the way, it's time to talk about what sets the Oslo console edition apart from the other regular Oslo chairs, and that's the center console portion itself. Right now, these chairs look like a row of three made into a couch, but just by pushing up on the headrest and pulling the back down to reveal the center console, we pretty much have a row of two seats with a table in the middle. This is really nice, because if you just need to seat an extra person every once in a while in your home theater, you can keep the center console up. And it just looks like you have a regular row of three seats in your theater. But if you don't need to use that seat all the time, you can open up the center console. And basically this gives you a small table between the two seats, as well as a pair of cup holders and even this little pop-up panel with two AC outlets and two USB ports for charging your own devices. In my opinion, it's a really nice way to make use of that space if you don't need the extra seat while watching a movie. On the underside of the headrest, the center console also has these small built-in lights that you can switch on and off, which aren't too bright, but I think they're perfect if you're just watching a movie and you need a little extra light. I think the center console is a really cool idea, but there are a few things that you do need to consider, the first of which is the fact that you lose the ability to recline the center seat. And in our opinion, this isn't really that big of a deal breaker, uh, but if you actually want to seat three people comfortably, then you might want to go with the regular row of three seats instead. And obviously you can't just adjust anything like the headrest or lumbar. And unfortunately, we're also missing out on the LEDs running along the bottom side of the chair. Again, this isn't a big deal to us, but it does make the center console stand out a bit when the LEDs in the other chairs are turned on. And it also comes with a pair of cup holders, but it would have been nice if they were a little deeper to lessen the chance of spilling your drink. With the center console out of the way, these are basically the exact same Oslo seats that we reviewed in our previous video. And that means we have things like this high quality dark chocolate Napa leather and the great looking diamond stitch pattern, which is honestly one of my favorite parts of these chairs. And actually, I think these chairs add quite a bit of class to the looks of our home theater. Of course, the seats on each end of the console edition are also powered, and using this little silver control panel, you can control the motorized recline, lumbar support, and headrest adjustments just by pushing these little rocker switches. And if you want to turn on the LED lights inside the cup holder and underneath the seat, you can just hit this little round button. The panel even has a USB port for charging something like a phone or tablet, but we would probably use the USB ports built into the center console for that, since the port directly on the control panel sticks out. Uh, if you want to use the USB ports built into the seats though, you can also get some of these 90 degree USB adapters that make the plugs face upward, which is perfect for these chairs. Other than that though, these chairs are also really comfortable and the whole mechanism is very smooth and quiet so it won't be distracting while watching a movie. And it's nice that you can get each part of the chair, like the lumbar and headrest, adjusted exactly to your needs. 
Another feature that I really like is that pushing the button opposite to the recline button will automatically start resetting all the adjustments made to the seat, so basically it brings the chair back to its starting position. Valencia also uses some dense therapeutic foam on the bottom and back of each seat, and the cushions on these seats are very supportive, but not so firm that they get uncomfortable. And as these break in over a long period of time, these cushions will continue to stay very comfortable without flattening out. We've been using our original two seats for the last eight months to watch three to four movies a week, and the seats have held up really well without any wear and tear to the leather or cushions. So we're pretty confident that these chairs are going to continue to be comfortable and look great for a long time. We also have this really convenient storage inside the armrests of each seat, which are deep enough to store things like tablets, laptops, and whatever else you want to keep inside the seat. Uh, these are also a great place to keep some of Valencia's accessories, like this table tray and their wine glass holder. The table tray is a pretty nice add-on that just slides into any of these receptacles next to a cup holder and gives you a little tray to put stuff on, like another bowl of popcorn, just in case you're a two-fisted popcorn eater. Uh, again, it also fits perfectly into the armrest, so it's a pretty nice little addition to have. There's also wine glass holders available that slot into the same place as the table trays, and these things are made out of solid stainless steel, so they probably won't have any problem holding your favorite beverage, and they'll look great while doing it. Valencia also offers an optional tablet holder, which would be great if you use your tablet as a remote for your home theater system, or smart home lighting for example, or maybe you just want to kick back in a comfy chair and check out some of the other great home theater videos on our channel. Now, as we mentioned earlier in the video, we really like the way that these chairs connect together. They're really versatile, and one nice feature about them is that you can easily add more chairs in the future, or you can actually do what we did and rearrange them into a different configuration. This let us take our row of two Oslo chairs and combine them with the Oslo console edition to basically make a row of five seats with the love seat setup in the middle. And of course, if you want to do something like this, you should contact Valencia to check compatibility with the certain models of chairs that you have, but that's what we did and we think it looks great. So if you're seriously considering buying some Valencia chairs, we can highly recommend checking out their online store where they have many different styles and configurations to choose from. You can also go to their 3D customizer app, which lets you design your own color combination to best match your theater. Of course, you can also check out Valencia's social media pages if you want to see some more of the seats that they offer and even ask them questions about any particular model. We feel that these are very high quality chairs, and in fact, they're the best chairs that we've ever owned, so I can definitely recommend you go ahead and check them out and consider them if you're in the market for some great home theater seats. And with all that said, I think it's time to wrap up this video. So again, we want to give a big thanks to Valencia Theater Seating for sending over their Oslo Console Edition seats for us to check out, and we really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments on the Valencia Oslo Console Edition or any of the other seats that Valencia offers, then please go ahead and let us know down in the comments section below, and we'll do our best to help you out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content, and as always, have an awesome day.